Can I just add a, a little point about sucralose? So this might sound like I'm not talking about sucralose, but it'll get the point across. When I did my continual glucose monitor experiment, this small amount of oats, because I've been eating protein and fats and not anything with lots of carbohydrates in, in the old days, before I turned 50, when I was high carb, I thought this wasn't sweet enough. So I would put in maybe a teaspoon of honey, some banana to make it sweet enough. But when I did my continual glucose monitor experiment at 60, after 10 years of low carb, uh, of which six was carnivore, this tasted really sweet without any, any um, sweetener. No honey, nothing. I didn't need it. And my continual glucose monitor really did spike. Now, when you have sucralose, you are retraining your taste buds and what happens there is then when you eat something like fruit, because sucralose is 600 times sweeter than sugar, you retrain the taste buds and something like fruit will seem not as sweet. And this can have a knock on effect with cravings. So the artificial sweetness for some people can be a really big problem. But also we've got to look at what how how our body is adapting to what we're putting into our mouth. So like you say, the sweet taste on your tongue and the cephalic response from expecting sweetness will have a physiological change in your body.